I just thought I'd cover shutter speed uh, momentarily, mainly because we have this new photo thing going this week on Facebook, which is all about liquid. Uh, so it's a liquid photo theme, and you can capture liquids um, with a fast shutter or a slow shutter. With a fast shutter, you catch it in action, so you tend to catch droplets and um, sort of the the water as it's moving. Uh, with a slower shutter, you catch the the full movement. If you look at pictures of slow exposures on waterfalls you'll see the water looks quite smooth and silky that's because it's it's capturing the flow of the water over time so it's not capturing the individual droplets because there's a lot of blur from the movement so I'm just going to show you how to alter your shutter speed to achieve those two different effects so I'll be back in a moment okay so I've got a bowl of water in front of me here the first thing I'm going to show you is how to do a fast shutter speed so this is going to capture all those little beads of water and things like that when there's action going on so if we speed up our shutter speed I'm going to do it as fast as I can well within reason I'm going to put my aperture all the way down to let in all the light I can I'm not going to use my zoom because the more zoom you use the less aperture you can use so I'm going to keep my zoom retracted all the way back my aperture down to f2.7 and because there's not the best lighting in this room I am going to whack my ISO all the way up to 3200 which is pretty high that then allows me to just put my shutter speed up as high as possible while maintaining the light so I'm going to go with a thousandth of a second so what I've also done if I just press the function set button get this side menu up I've actually gone on to multi shot here it was on single I'm now on multi which means that it will keep taking shots as long as I'm holding down the shutter button so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to splash around the water and I'm going to take shots as I do this. Hopefully I won't get too much too wet. I've also activated macro. We all know the focus is here. Just activate macro focus. This is mainly because I'm quite close. Obviously if you're not very close to your subject you don't need to use macro. So I'm just going to splash around in this water and I'm going to take some pictures. I'm going to make as, as many things, bits of water fly around just so you can see what I'm talking about. I've probably got my camera really wet. So if I just play that back, I'll put them on the actual video as well. You can see in a shot like this you've got all the tiny little bits of water that are coming off my hand and they're sort of frozen sorry, all the bits of water coming off my hand, they're sort of frozen in time. Okay, so that's using a fast shutter. The next thing I want to do is demonstrate a slow shutter and how it can look really silky with the water. So I'm going to switch tools a moment. So what I've got is this glass bowl here. Now, obviously in most situations you're not going to be using this, but I'm just going to wipe the outside so I can take a picture from in front um, to show you what I'm talking about. So I'll just bring the camera lower down. As you saw the bowl was in front of the camera. Now I've got one of these lemon uh, what's it? Squeezer things. I'm just going to pop on top so that makes it a bit darker but it's okay because we're going to be using a slow shutter speed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what this is going to look like with a fast shutter and then compare it with the slow. So if I use a faster shutter, it's a bit darker here, so we'll go with a 500th of a second. Still got that multi-shot active, so if I just start to take pictures and I pour through the sieve, you'll see it captures a lot of those bits of water coming through the sieve. So you can see it dripping down through the sieve, it's capturing a lot of the um, water in action. But when we use a slower shutter speed, it's going to sort of meld all of that water into one single movement, if you like. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make the shutter speed a lot slower. So say we go to, let's go for a 40th of a second. This then allows us to turn our ISO right back down, which is great. We can even go for a slower shutter, maybe... We go to the 15th. You don't want to go too slow, because otherwise you actually start to... Um, 
if the movement isn't very big, you know, with a waterfall you've got a lot more water, a lot more movement going on, but with something like this, the, the movement's quite small, and if you use your shutter for too long, you sort of lose the quality of that movement. So we'll go with this one for now. We've got a fifteenth of a second, we've still got our aperture nice and low, and our ISO is down to 100. So I've still got a multi-shot as normal. So I'm going to start taking shots, I'm going to pour the same amount of water. So even though it still sounds quite fast, that's a very slow shutter for capturing action. You'll see that the water's looking a lot more smooth. You see it's not splashes and little globules of water. Bear in mind a lot of these bits are just on the outside of the dish. Um, the actual movement of the water is very smooth and, and silky. So as I say, the, the faster the shutter speed, the more action you're going to capture, but if you go too slow you'll sort of lose this quality here. You see this first shot, there wasn't too much water coming through, so these smooth lines are actually very becoming quite faint. But as more water goes through they become more pronounced.